Representative John Roberts is live at the White House now. John. And Harris, I think that they've just filed the recount petition. I just received a copy of it on my phone. So that's it in Wisconsin. They're filing for a recount in two counties, uh, two of the, of the counties with the biggest votes as well, with uh, Milwaukee County and Dane County. Between the two of them, there's about 800,000 votes. The basis for the recount, three big issues, really. Illegally altered absentee ballots. The Trump campaign is claiming illegally issued absentee ballots and illegal advice from government officials regarding Wisconsin voter ID laws. The campaign insists that the two counties uh, that they are filing this petition in are the counties where the most voting irregularities were. Uh, the margin of uh, victory for Joe Biden at the moment is about 20,000 votes. The Trump campaign hoping that somewhere in those 800,000 votes, they can find 20,000 to make up the difference. The campaign set aside $3 million to pay for it. In other developments in Georgia, that audit of votes uh, expected to be completed by 11.59 p.m. just before midnight tonight. So far, that Georgia recount has found the following discrepancies. In Floyd County, a little more than 2,600 votes, netting 800 votes for uh, President Trump. Fayette County, 2,755 votes, netting an additional 449 votes for President Trump. Walton County, 224 votes were discovered. They were not uploaded from a memory card. We don't know how many were for President Trump, but uh, Walton County was voting 74 percent in favor of the president. Uh, the extra ballots, obviously not enough to overturn the current vote count there in Georgia. That stands at about 13,000 votes on the, uh, to the favor of uh, Joe Biden. But it does certainly buttress the president's claims that there were a lot of voting irregularities there. Uh, the president tweeting about that. The Georgia recount is a vote being done under protest, even though thousands of fraudulent votes have been found. The real number is in matching signatures. Governor must open the unconstitutional consent decree and call in the legislature. That consent decree, which was signed back in March, really kind of lays out the process for how signatures are verified. And the president insisting that signatures are not being properly verified in Georgia, though the Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, insists that, yes, they are. But Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, both of whom are in a desperate fight for re-election in a January 5th, uh, January 5th runoff, are saying that Brad Raffensperger should resign. Here's what Raffensperger said earlier today. I felt that they were coming under pressure from the Trump campaign, and they, they sent that out there. And uh, I don't know if it was a perfunctory uh, a request for you know, my resignation, but I'm not going anywhere. I was hired by the voters of Georgia, and uh, I'll be up for re-election, re and the voters will decide that issue. And let's just quickly go through a couple of the other things that are going on as well. Rudy Giuliani, who you see there arguing in a uh, federal district court in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, yesterday against a motion to dismiss a Trump complaint, though Giuliani did notify or notice that if uh, if they lost that case, that could get them to the Supreme Court. So losing might not be a bad thing. And in Wayne County, Michigan, two Republican canvas board members initially had refused to certify the vote count. Uh, of a canvas there in Wayne County, but after uh, a second vote, they turned around and they did vote in favor of certifying that canvas. The president, though, saying that they were pressured into doing it, uh, tweeting at first they voted against because there were far more votes than people, sad, then they were threatened, screamed at, and viciously harassed and were forced to change their vote, but then refused as American patriots to sign the document. 71% mess, don't harass. Another development, the president firing his cybersecurity, his election cybersecurity chief, Chris Krebs. Uh, the president said that a statement that Krebs made that the election was secure was not accurate, said the president. Uh, there are lots of voting inaccuracies out there. Uh, so Krebs shown the door. Uh, I'm told that it's not just that statement. It was a number of other things as well, some rumor control that Krebs was mm -hmm. doing, that sort of thing. So that, that full story yet to be told. Harris? You had it all. I'm going to add this because it just happened on the record from the Biden campaign statement on Wisconsin recount push now by petition by the uh, Trump campaign. So back and forth we go. Just real quickly, the official canvas results reaffirm Joe Biden's clear and resounding win in Wisconsin after Wisconsin voters turned out to cast their ballots in record numbers. A cherry-picked and selective recounting of Milwaukee and Dane County will not change these results. It goes on. <laughs> but just to add a little bit to your already complete reporting, I don't even know how I dare do that, but that just happened.
Well, uh, John you know, Roberts, you, always you know good what? To see you, you. You, you can com- you, you can com- you can compare that statement to the one that the Bush campaign made in 2000. So. Hmm. Okay. Thank you.